Welcome to Immersive Reactions. Yes, and welcome back to Immersive Reactions. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We've been loving the support on Patreon Oh, for our series and beautiful. all of our shenanigans we do that doesn't make it into the YouTube cut. We really appreciate. You're going to have to remind me what happened last week because currently it's migraine season for me it's and I parents. am definitely not. He was yeah. quite upset when his sister brought him back. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And then he went out drinking because she ate the heart of a heart of a horse. That's a tongue twister. And then her advisor left drinking, came back and demanded all this payment, all of his rightful thing. And then Cal Drogo made him a, a crown, which I think I remember correctly. He took the metal off his waist to the, and then just pulled Yeah, he it. killed him. Yes. He's dead. Yes. Yeah, that character's gone, which I didn't think he would be able to survive in this world much longer. Well, now anyway. with the attitude, the way he was talking to, yeah. calling them, what was it? Making threats. Yes. <laughs> claiming he had power, making everyone feel little around him in a very, their culture does seem like it's, it has laws, it has rules. There isn't, it isn't just mindless killing for the sake of it. You know, there is more of a culture around. Yeah. He said when he said that you can't draw swords in your, in their city. Yes. Makes sense. Or a place that has significance. You don't want people just randomly running around killing each other. No. And there's obviously it seems like there's a code of ethics or something. That's not really the word for. It's them, not but... really a code of ethics. It's just don't carry weapons in the city leads to if you don't have a weapon, you're less likely to kill people. If there is an altercation, it's only going to be with your fists. And the likelihood of you killing someone with just your fists is a lot lower than if you had a weapon. There's lots of things happened. Another thing that happened was he was made hand of the king, lord. Yes. He took away title and everything from that one day guy who went and killed. Oh, yes. yeah. After he lost the joust, he left. And then because the they like took. They said it was. Tyrion. Tywin, I believe, he let him loose on Lady Stark's, like, yes. where she was originally from before she moved to the north. The fish one, right? That's the... Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Let us know all of your interesting little facts and tidbits that we might have missed. Yes. We're not going to catch everything. It's a first watching. I know some things might be obvious, but it's only obvious to someone who's watched these multiple times, mm -hmm. like, over and love them. Also, just wanted to say... Before we start, going to start doing live streams every Saturday around ish, like 5 p.m. And I do all my editing at that Saturday on Saturday and I slog through it. So I'm going to be live streaming my whole editing process and you can talk to us mm -hmm. or just me because she goes to bed. I edit for 12 hours straight on mm -hmm. Saturdays and it's not all just prop it's not all just the slogging through the editing too we sit and talk a few good conversations in the last saturday i think it's a good way for me to connect with you guys whenever and wherever you are in the world because i'm going to be editing for so long i'll probably catch most of you if you're in europe i'll catch some of you later and if you're in north america i'll catch some of you earlier without further ado let's get should i take out the sword let's do it why not do you want to? No. Oh. <laughs> uh, ba, 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 drinking coffee. <laughs> yes. Probably shouldn't have. Someone mentioned that the, in the earlier episodes, season one, the locations don't normally change until you get later. Okay. There's one or two different locations, maybe, but usually the same. Same old Tarly. And you Patreon people will have, Friday will have the entire season on Patreon. This is a renaissance fair. I'm just kidding. I'll arrive within the fortnight, I'll be branded an enemy of the crown. Oh, that's dark. Brave man. Terrible judgment. Attacking him was stupid. Oh. Lannisters don't act like fools. Well, that's to be. I don't know about that. Clever. Go on, say something clever. Catelyn Stark took my brother. Why is he still alive? Tyrion. Ned Stark. One of our men interfered. Speared him through the leg before I could finish him. Why is he still alive? It wouldn't have been clean. You spend too much time worrying is this his about father? what people think of you. I could care less what anyone thinks of me. I'm not sure. That's what you want people to think uh, of you. That's what they're talking like. 
When you hear them whispering Kingslayer behind your back... I've never seen him you. respect another person. Of course. Oh, that's true. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. I suppose I should be grateful that your vanity got in the way of your recklessness. I'm giving you half of our forces, 30,000 men. And we'll bring the cattle in Stark's girlhood home and remind her that Lannisters pay their debts. I didn't realize you placed such a high value on my brother's life. He's a Lannister. He might be the lowest of the Lannisters, but he's one of us. Ooh, that's every cold. day that he remains a prisoner, the less our name commands respect. So the lion does concern himself with the opinions no, of No, that's not an opinion. It's a fact. If another house can seize one of our own and hold him captive with impunity, we are no longer a house to be feared. Your you set him dead. straight with that. Before long, I'll be dead. <laughs> and you. And your brother. And your sister. And all of her children. All of us dead. All of us rotting in the ground. A family name that lives on. It's all that lives on. Not your personal glory, not your honor, but family. Do you understand? He is the only person who really got him to just listen with that. You're blessed with abilities that few snarkiness. men possess. You're blessed to belong to the most powerful family in the kingdoms. And you're still blessed with youth. And what have you done with these blessings? Huh? You've served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. The future of our family will be determined in these next few months. We could establish a dynasty that will last a thousand years. Or we could collapse into nothing, as the Targaryens did. I need you to become the man you were always meant to be. Not next year, not tomorrow. That's a lot to put on him. And they're acting like, I don't know, actually. So he's he, his father wants him to just take control of the family. Like, Obviously he's in pain. I've had worse, my lady. Perhaps time to go home. The South doesn't seem to agree with you. I know the truth John Aaron died for. Do you, Lord Stark? Is that why you called me here to pose me riddles? Has he done this before? You would have killed him. My brother's worth a thousand, your friend. Your brother, your lover. He knows. Targaryens wed brothers and sisters for 300 years to keep bloodlines pure. Jamie and I are more than brother and sister. We shared a womb, came into this world together. We belong together. Oh. My son saw you with him. Do you love your children? With all my heart. No more than I love mine. And they're all Jamie's. Thank the gods. In the rare event that Robert leaves his whores for long enough to stumble drunk into my bed, I finish him off in other ways. In the morning, he doesn't remember. You've always hated him. Hated him? I worshipped him. Every girl in the Seven Kingdoms dreamed of him, but he was mine by oath. And when I finally saw him on our wedding day in the Sept of Bela, lean and fierce and black-bearded, it was the happiest moment of my life. Then that night he crawled on top of me, stinking of wine, and did what he did what little he could do, and whispered in my ear, Liana. Your sister was a corpse and I was a living girl and he loved her more than me. When the king returns from his hunt, I'll tell him the truth. You must be gone by then. You and your children. I will not have their blood on my hands. Go as far away as you can with as many men as you can. Because wherever you go, Robert's will follow you. And what of my Robert Stark? You should have taken a realm for yourself. And you told me about the day King's Landing fell. He was sitting in the Iron Throne and you made him give it up. All you needed to do was climb the steps yourself. Such a sad mistake. I've had many mistakes in my life, but that wasn't one of them. Oh, but it was. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. But is he playing the game? Because he's not trying to gain the throne, right? He's seeking the truth for men. He's not, you know. Though you could argue that he's playing the game for Robert. That he's trying to keep Robert in power. He said that he would tell him the truth when he came back. So she better take her kids and go. No, no. No. Is that what they teach you up in the north? And you, wherever you're from, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? Either of you understand a thing that I'm saying? Yes, Lord. Let's start about, shall we? You be the man and you be the woman. Is he teaching them? Well, go ahead. Slowly. You're not fooling them. They just paid you. They know what you are. They know it's all just an act. Why don't you join us, my lord? I'm saving myself for another. You must be very beautiful. No, not really. Impeccable bloodlines, though. Oh. I was her little confidant, her plaything. She could tell me anything, anything at all. You know what I learned losing that duel? I learned that I'll never win. Not that way. That's their game, their rule. I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to fuck them. That's what I know. That's what I am. And only by admitting what we are can we get what we want. And what do you want? Oh, everything, my dear. Everything there is. Now wash yourselves. Both of you are working tonight. He has a lot of themes baggage. Yes. There's a lot of internal problems. Well, she's from the forest, the one who was trying to steal the horse and hurt the boy. Yeah. 
You're a very lucky girl, you know that. Where I come from, we don't show mercy to criminals. Where I come from, if someone like you attacked a little lord, at low tide, we'd lay you on your back, on the beach, your hands and feet chained to four stakes. The sea would come in closer and closer. You'd see death creeping towards you a few inches at a time. Where's it you come from? The Iron Islands. Very far away. You've never heard of the Iron Islands? Trust me, you've never heard where I'm from, neither. My lord. You're not living in the wilderness anymore. In civilized lands, you refer to your betters by their proper titles. And what's that? Lord. Why? My father is Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands. What's that got to do with you? If your father's Lord, how can you be Lord too? I will be Lord after my father. So you're not Lord now? No, you... Are you having a go at me? Is that it? Just don't understand how you Southerners do things. I'm not a Southerner. You're from south of the wall. That makes you a Southerner to me. You're an impudent little wench, aren't you? Couldn't say, my lord. Don't know what impudent means. Impudent. It means rude, disrespectful. Do you want to lose that chain? Leon Greyjoy. The lady is our guest. Thought she was our prisoner. Are the two mutually exclusive in your experience? E. He was locked up because he is a prisoner yeah. and a guest. So he. Oh no! He's like the same thing as her, basically. I'm used to men could chew that boy up and pit their teeth with his bones. Why did you come here? Didn't mean to come here. Meant to get much further south than this. As far south as south goes, before the long night comes. Why? What are you afraid of? There's things that sleep in the day and hunt at night. Owls and shadow cats. I'm not talking about owls and shadow cats. The things you speak of, they've been gone for thousands of years. He wasn't gone, old man. He was sleeping. He was sleeping no more. Oh, wow. It's a crazy look. I miss girls. I thought you not said you had been talking to them. I never talked to them. Just looking at them, hearing them giggle. Oh, Sam. Don't you miss girls? Riders, the horn. We have to blow the horn. Why is he alone? One blast, a ranger returning. Two for wildlings. There's no rider. Who is it? It's just a horse. Oh. That's not good. Isn't his uncle out there too? Oh yes, he did go out there. A bit ago. Yeah. There's horses. That's my uncle Benjamin's horse. Oh. oh. Here you go. Where's my uncle? That's a great question. Dad, we were hunting a boar. What? I should have spent more time with you. Show me how to be a man. Regrets. Never meant to be a father. Oh boy. Oh god. Is he gonna die? Oh, no. That's not good right now. No. You don't want to see this. Oh, now how is he gonna tell her? My tell him about her. Too much wine. Missed my thrust. Oh. Yeah, messed up. He did. Stinks like death. I don't think I can't smell it. <laughs> Paid the bastard back, Ned. I drove my knife right through his brain. You ask him if I didn't. Ask him. I want the funeral feast to be the biggest the kingdoms ever saw. And I want everyone to taste the boar that got me. I leave as the lot of you. I need to talk to Ned. Robert, my sweet. Out, all of you. Think she's afraid that he's gonna tell him? Uh, thing is, I don't know what telling him now will do. You damned fool. Paper and ink the table. I don't want to say. In the name of Robert, of the house Baratheon. First of, you know how it goes. Fill in the damn titles. I hereby command Eddard of House Stark, Fettles titles, to serve as Lord Regent and Protector of the Realm upon my death, to rule in my stead until my son Joffrey comes of age. Okay, we need someone in this room to witness this. Yeah. Give it over. But he's not thinking in his right mind, and he's distracted. We really need to the council after I'm dead. Why not before? I did this right, this one thing. You'll rule now. You'll hate it worse than I did. You'll do it well. The girl, Daenerys. You were right, Darius Littlefinger, my brother. Worthless. No one to tell me no but you. Only you to live. Stop it. It's not too late, my son. Make him better than me. I'll do everything I can to honor your memory. My memory. King Robert Baratheon, murdered by a pig. Give me some of the pain and let me die. That is a critical mistake, I think. Give the milk of the puppy. Like, all of those people needed to be in there to witness mm -hmm. it. He commanded us to step aside, but 
I failed him. No man could have protected him from himself. I wonder, Sir Barristan, who gave the king this right? His squire, from the king's own skin. His squire, an honest boy. Such a dutiful boy to make sure his grace did not lack refreshment. I do hope the poor lad does not blame himself. His grace has had a change of heart concerning Daenerys Targaryen. Whatever arrangements. I'm afraid those birds have flown. The girl is likely dead already. Damn. Oh, that's so unfortunate. She's not dead already. Yeah, Khaleesi is their word for queen. They actually are communicating. They are. Like, it's pretty... not like a one-sided thing anymore. No. Can't you help me make him understand? The Dothraki do things in their own time for their own reasons. Have patience. My brother was a fool, I know, but he was the rightful heir to the Seven Kingdoms. <laughs> Have I said something funny, sir? Forgive me, Khaleesi, but your ancestor, Aegon the Conqueror, didn't seize six of the kingdoms because they were his right. He had no right to them. He seized them because he could. And because he had dragons. <sighs> well, having a few dragons makes things easier. You don't believe it. Have you ever seen a dragon, Khaleesi? I believe what my eyes and ears report. As for the rest, it was 300 years ago. Who knows what really happened? Now, if you'll pardon me, I'll seek out the merchant captain. See if he has any letters for me. Well, I'll come with you. No, don't trouble yourself. Enjoy the market. I'll rejoin you soon enough. The spider sends his greeting and his congratulations. A royal pardon. You can go home now. Oh, he's scared. You see that, that worry on his face? Is he, like, reconsidering just being there for no reason? I don't know about that. My son already has his name, but I'll try your summer one. You have the honor of addressing Daenerys of the House Targaryen, Khaleesi of the Riding Men, and Princess of the Seven Kings. Princess. Rise. I'd still like to taste that wine. That? Your honest swill. Not worthy of a princess. I have a dry red from the arbor. Nectar of the gods. Is he watching? I don't know, but why isn't he up there with them? You honor me, sir. He's like hiding. Do you see how he's hiding? The honor is all mine. Oh. You know, there are many in your homeland that pray for your return, princess. Hope to repay your kindness someday. Ricardo, Paso he has Hogan. Something wrong? I have a thirst. Open it. The wine is for the Kalisa. It's not for the likes of him. Open it. It would be a crime to drink a wine this rich without at least giving it time to breathe. Do as he says. As the princess commands. Taste it, my lord. Tell me that that is not the finest wine that has ever touched your tongue. You first. I'm afraid I am not worthy of the vintage. Besides, it is a poor wine merchant who would drink up his own wares. You will drink. Huh? Oh, is this like the plot? That is some. Interesting. Oh, what? I mean, thinking about it, the spider did say that the owl's already been sent. Yeah. So is that what they meant? Oh, boy. I don't know. It would be weird if they just sent one method of killing her. I would assume they have, like, dozens of different oh, yeah. assassins after her. Friends. Oh. He came to us rich, he came to us poor. Is this their, like, initiation? Bear the names of proud houses. Others only bastard names and no names at all. It does not matter. All that is in the past. Here, on the wall, we are all one house. Mm -hmm. Tonight. Yes. United together. I'm allowed to look happy. I'm going to be a ranger. Isn't that what you always wanted? I want to find my uncle. No, he's alive out there. No, he is. I wish I could help you. I'm no ranger. So too, you is the steward's life for me? Your own loyalty His honor in being a steward. Your grudges. Not much, really. But this food. And all loves alike. <laughs> Here, you begin a new. A new life. A man of the night's watch lived his life for the realm. For a king, for a lord, for the honor of this house or that house, or for gold. A glory for a woman's love, but for the realm and all the people in it. You've all learnt the words of vow. Think carefully before you say them. The penalty for desertion is death. Yeah, because the guy deserted before and he got killed in, in the first episode. Tonight. Sunset. Do any of you still keep the old gods? I do, my lord. You want to take your vow before a heart tree as your uncle did? Yes, my lord. To find a wormwood a mile north of the wall. And your old gods too, maybe. My lord, might I go as well? Does Al Starley keep the old gods? No. My lord, I was named in the light of the seventh, as my father was and his father before him. Why would you forsake the gods of your father and your house? The Night's Watch is my house now. The seven have never answered my prayers. Perhaps the old gods will. As you wish. Here you go. We've all been assigned very nice. Order. He's very articulate. To our needs and your strengths. Older, 
the builders, Pip the stewards, Toad to the builders, Gren to the rangers, Samwell to the stewards, Makar to the rangers, Darian to the stewards, Valian to the rangers, Rast to the rangers, John to the stewards, Ransa to the builder, Ichiel to the builders, Gordo to the stewards, Nico to the rangers. Oh, did he not get put on? Oh, no. Oh. It's him. Is it? Look at him. He's, he said his name. The stewards and he had that mug. So he, he basically got put on do nothing duty. And he doesn't want that. What Can is... they fight that? Can they challenge I it? I don't think so. Did Samwell get put on stewards? Yes. But he, went, he sighed like, oh, thank gosh. Me in the rookery and library. You will report to Mo and Marsh in the kitchens. Luke, report to One-Eyed Joe in the stables. One-Eyed Joe? Darian, they are sending you to Eastwatch. Present yourself to Borkus when you arrive. Make no comment about his note. Jon Snow, Lord Commander Mormont has requested you for his personal steward. Will I serve the Lord Commander's meals and fetch hot water for his bath? Certainly. And keep a fire burning in his chambers. Change his sheets and blankets daily. And do everything else the Lord Commander requires of you. Oh, man, that's spiteful. Do you take me for a servant? We took you for a man of the Night's Watch. But perhaps we were wrong in that. As you wish. I don't know. Don't you see what they're doing? I see Sir Alice's revenge, that's all. He wanted it and he got it. Stewards are nothing but maids. I'm a better swordsman and rider than any of you. It's not fair. Fair? I was singing for a high lord at Acorn Hall when he put his hand on my leg and he wanted to see my cock. Pushed him away and he said he'd have my hands cut off for stealing their sword. So now I'm here. At the end of the world, when no one's to sing for but old men and little shits like you, I'll never see my family again. I'll never be inside a woman again. Don't tell me about fear. I thought you were caught stealing the wheel of cheese for your starving sister. I was going to tell a bunch of strangers to her lord try to grab my cock. You sing me a song, Pip. I'd like to hear a song. Now listen to me. The old man is the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. You'll be with him day and night. Yes, you'll clean his clothes, but you'll also take his letters, attend him at meetings, squire for him in battle. You'll know everything, be part of everything. And he asks for you himself. He wants to groom you for command. Well, Sam, very well point that I didn't catch. Yeah. I always wanted to be a ranger. I always wanted to be a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> so you'll stay and say your word with me. True. Like he's gonna be an important part of everything going up. Alone, if you will. Why? He named you protector of the realm. He did. She won't care. Give me an hour, and I can put a hundred swords at your command. And what should I do with a hundred swords? Strike tonight while the castle sleeps. We must get Joffrey away from his mother and into our custody. Protector of the realm, or no? He who holds the king holds the kingdom. Every moment you delay gives Cersei another moment to prepare. By the time Robert dies, it will be too late for the both of us. What about Stannis? Saving the Seven Kingdoms from Cersei and delivering them to Stannis. You have odd notions about protecting the realm. Stannis is your older brother. This isn't about the bloody line of succession. That didn't matter when you rebelled against the Mad King. It shouldn't matter now. What's best for the kingdoms? What's best for the people we rule? We all know what Stannis is. He inspires no love or loyalty. He's not a king. I am. Stannis is a commander. He's led men into war twice. He destroyed the Greyjoy fleet. Yes, he's a good soldier. Everyone knows that. So is Robert. Tell me something. Do you still believe good soldiers make good kings? I will not dishonor Robert's last hours by shedding blood in his halls and dragging frightened children from their beds. I think he just wants to be, and he'll do anything. Oh, there's so many. You will the one. To Dragonstone tonight. The kid. Place this in the, hand the younger guy. Baratheon. Not his steward, not his captain of the guard, and not his wife. Only Stannis himself. Yes, my lord. Now leave us. Things are gonna heat up quickly. My lord. The king has no true-born sons. Joffrey and Tommen are Jaime Lannister's bastards. So, when the king dies... The throne passes to his brother, Lord Stannis. So it would seem, unless... There is no oh, God. He is the right He's, like, man. going and that way. And he cannot take the throne without your help. You would be wise to deny it to him and to make sure Joffrey succeeds. Do you have a shred of honor? You are now Hand of the King and Protector of the Realm. All of the power is yours. You need only reach out and take it. He doesn't want to. Peace with the yeah. Release the imp, wed your daughter to Joffrey. We have plenty of time to get rid of Stannis, and if Joffrey seems likely to cause problems when he comes into his throne, we simply reveal his little secret and seat Lord Renly there instead. We? You'll need someone to share these burdens, I assure you. My price would be modest. 
you suggest is treason? Only if we lose. Make peace with the Lannisters, you say. With the people who tried to murder my boy. We only make peace with our enemies, my lord. That's why it's called making peace. No. I won't do it. Mm. So it will be Stannis and war. There is no other choice. He is the heir. So why did you call me here? Not for my wisdom, clearly. You promised Catelyn you would help me. The Queen has a dozen knights and a hundred men-at-arms. Enough to overwhelm what remains of my household guard. I need the gold cloaks. The city watch is two thousand strong and sworn to defend the King's peace. Look at you. You know what you want me to do. You know it has to be done. But it's not honorable, so the words stick in your throat. When the Queen proclaims one king and the hand proclaims another, Whose peace do the gold cloaks protect? Who do they follow? The man who pays them. Damn. <laughs> These interactions are crazy. Holy yeah. shit. It's all going. It's mm. going bad down there. It's uh mm. that I just don't think Lord Stark has it. Listen to my vow. Night gathers. And now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realm of men. Wow. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch. For this, this night and all the nights to come. Yanelta's boys, rise now as men of the night's watch. There you go. It's official. Very nice. It's done. 100%. It's one of the trees that were in Winterfell, too. Yes. I wonder what is behind. What's he got there? It's me, Ghost. Bring it here. Got to be good. That's a. Uh... Or just the hand. Oh, boy. Is that foreshadowing something? When the Kalisar rides, he'll be leashed to the saddle. That's the guy who tried to give her that wine. I saw a man last nine miles once. King Robert still wants me dead. This poison was the first. He won't be the last. I thought he'd leave me alone now that my brother is gone. He will never leave you alone. If you ride to Darkest Shy, his assassins will follow you. If you sailed all the way to the Basilisk Isles, his spies would tell him he will never abandon the hunt. You're a Targaryen, the last Targaryen. Your son will have Targaryen blood with 40,000 riders behind him. Oh, boy. He will not have my son. He will not have you either, Therese. He is in trouble. He knows. It's like a third thank you. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Give me shivers. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, calm down a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. Should get real serious. Yeah, this is. Wow. It's gonna get great. Is she dragging him with? Yeah. All right. It's all right. Let him through. Lord Stark, King Joffrey and the Queen Regent request your presence in the throne room. King Joffrey. King Robert is gone. The gods give him rest. Oh no. Let's hope his plan holds up. All is accomplished. The city watch is yours. Good. Is Lord Renly joining us? I fear Lord Renly has left the city. He rode through the old gate an hour before dawn with Sir Loris Tyrell and some 50 retainers. Last seen galloping south in some haste. Let's hope. We stand behind you, Lord Stark. Let's hope it holds up. I don't know. All hail his grace, Joffrey of Houses Baratheon and Lannister. First of his name, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. Oh God, he's nervous. Can you see how nervous he is? I command the council to make all necessary arrangements for my coronation. I wish to be crowned within the fortnight. Today, I shall accept oaths of fealty from my loyal councillors. Sir Barristan, I believe no man here could ever question your honor. 
King Robert's seal, unbroken. Lord Eddard Stark is herein named Protector of the Realm, to rule as regent until the heir come of age. May I see that letter, Sir Barristan? Hello, old boy. Protector of the Realm. Is this meant to be your shield, Lord Stark? Oh. A piece of paper. Those were the king's words. We have a new king now. Lord Eddard, when That's we the thing. Spoke, they should have done this when he was still alive. Allow me to return the courtesy. Bend the knee, my lord. Bend the knee and swear loyalty to my son, and we shall allow you to live out your days in the grey waste you call home. Your son has no claim to the throne. Liar! You condemn yourself with your own mouth, Lord Stark. Sir Barristan seized this traitor. Sir Barristan is a good man, a loyal man. Do him no harm. You think he stands alone? Kill him! Oh, gosh, no. Commander, take the queen and her children into custody. Escort them back to the royal apartments and keep them there, under guard. Men of the watch! No bloodshed. Tell your men to lay down their swords. No one needs to die. But she doesn't care, though. No! She does a little bit No, no, no! Oh, my God. I did warn you not to trust me. Yeah. Over. Oh, the they anger at him. Damn it. Damn it. He's just not meant to do what he was asked. There's so many little things where I have a worse headache now. Oh, God. I've changed so many directions. Okay. Three major things. The people who are trying to ally with you, you needed to keep close. Renly, the guy that left, you needed to keep close. Who, when the king was writing that proclamation, sure, you needed to have the spy master guy. You needed to have the Sir Barristan guy. You needed to have Renly. You needed to have all of those dudes in the room to be witnesses. Beyond Lord Stark, he doesn't have any power. No. Like... He has his household guard, which are very few, comparably to what everyone else has. And third, and then before he died, right? Not after, because after is too late. He needed to give that proclamation that he is the protector of the kingdom until Joffrey comes of age before that happened. And I think it would all have been fine for at least a little while until Cersei found a way to do what she wanted to do, but it would give them time they needed. That, I mean, I get it. The man has a lot going on. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff happening, but it was really important to get those things correct because now there is no going back. Lord Stark has lost all of his leverage. He's given up his secrets. He's given up his leverage. And now he doesn't even have men to back him up. And he thought, oh, all I need is the truth and just back up. Yeah, but not at King's Landing. It's a total different situation. They don't give a shit about the truth. No, no. They don't care. And they have more men. So your two points, like you should be going into it being like, okay, what did they have to leverage against me when I bring this? They could just be like, nope, don't care, which is what they did. Yeah, seriously, Louis ripped it up in like, Poof. I get that he's going on principle and honor. He has run out of people who value that. Maybe Robert, Sir Barristan, the, I think he's like the leader of the guard for the king. Again, Robert's dead. Sir Barristan does whatever the king, current king, tells him to do. So he's torn between, oh, do I flip? And he, it's just. It's very messy right now. Very rough. And then what's the finger at the end? I knew it was bad to give that guy any sort of leeway. And the second best thing they probably could have done, if he really wanted the Stannis guy to rule, I don't know. Like, it's a worse option, but abandon King's Landing. Leave. Whatever control you have over the situation is completely gone. At least if you left, you could rally the North around Lord Stark and help Stannis to regain the throne if he wanted to do that. Which is, like they said, another war. Which, that's not good either. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry if that's like a harsh criticism of him, but I guess he's in he a did. really tight situation. Really tight. There's no wiggle room. Tight deadlines. And like done. I'll give it to him. He's injured. He's dealing with a lot of stress. He's trying to make the best moves he can in the way that stays true to him. Which is honorable and for what is right. He's also playing with that whole thing that Lannisters try to kill his son. So he's not. He's not really in his right mind. And he doesn't have a second. But it's constant. 
he doesn't have a, well, what I meant by that is he doesn't have a second man, right? Who's like almost his equal that he can trust here. All these opposing forces, right? Like Littlefinger, the spy master. I don't even know the other, the old guy who's on the council too. They're all vying for whatever they're trying to accomplish, which is completely separate from what Lord Stark wants. Besides Renly, who said, make me king because... Lord Stark's, well, you're, if Stannis dies, then it's you. It can't be you first. Which, to be honest, like third, if you were going to third in plans to do, Renly's plan was third. If you're not doing, doing the first one, if you're not doing the second one, I said, do the third one, which is Renly's plan to take the queen away from her son, do the proclamation before they can, Littlefinger said, when the queen proclaims a king, and the hand proclaims a king, what's going to happen? I mean, he told him. Yes, in that meeting. He didn't say, I'm going to help you. He said, what do they do? What the man that pays them tells them to do. Yeah. And Littlefinger saw Lord Stark's position. He was like, that guy's gone. That guy lost. He doesn't have any leverage. The only leverage he has is me. And I'm not going to stand on the side that's losing, which all these people are just trying to survive and then push for power. And Littlefinger said earlier in the episode, he's, I want everything. Yes, he did. Cause he gr yeah. He doesn't want to be a loser. He doesn't care about honor. He doesn't care about what's right. He's just, I want everything. I don't care how I get it. Which, again, he's playing a longer game than Lord Stark is. I feel like he has a plan of what he wants, and he's executing it for the long game. He's trying to stay alive, which is not sacrificing himself for honor. Or, like he said, he's not going to play their game, the one of war, he can't win that game. He's like, I'm going to play what I'm good at. I'm going to, which is, he literally said, yes, yes I'm going to come over. I don't know if that's exactly what he meant by that, that he was going to betray Lord Stark, but he obviously said he wasn't going to play Lord Stark's game, which is power backed up by honor and truth. And it's hard in that position. Maybe if Finger didn't give him those guarantees, Lord Stark would have done something different because he would have realized without Littlefinger and the guard, whole city watch guard, he didn't have any power. Side note, take your mind off of that. Yeah. They became the men of the Night's Watch. Yeah. It's special. Even though Jon Snow did not get what he wanted, he's still, yeah. still there. I very much appreciate. I, I really enjoyed and appreciated the way that Sam stood up mm -hmm. and left his past and became really embraced where he was and the values and the gods and all that. That was, that self right then. He took it on and took it to be part of it yeah. and said, heck with all you past people, betray me, try to set me up for failure. This is where I belong, so I'm going to do. I appreciate that storyline. It cuts into tension a little bit. I was talking to someone before, I don't remember where on the channel, and someone was saying that the pacing is a little slow. I think the pacing is fine. I think it's perfect. The way they intercut and layer the tension makes it not overwhelming or hard to follow because you get a little reprieve from the King's Landing high tempo, high stress with the kind of low tempo Night's Watch storyline and then a little more high tempo, but still lower than King's Landing Daenerys yes. storyline. So I really appreciate those moments, especially because I have a migraine and it's hard to follow things. And I'm doing my best. Sam always, even though there's points that aren't very great down situations, he tries to brighten everyone. Like yeah. With that boy, with that Lord was touching his areas. Yeah. He's, oh, well, can you sing me a song? He's funny, but he provides, I feel like he provides a comical relief. Yes, I understand you and I appreciate your existence. But if you sing me a song, would that make you feel better? What? And he just walks away. Yeah. Or he's trying to make Lord Snow feel better about his position saying, hey, it's not just, yeah, you're going to be doing his dishes, washing his clothes, but you're also going to be there in and out, knowing things, his letters, his meetings, fighting everything with him. I do like that part of Sam. He, he, he said to, he's grooming you for command. Yeah. So I don't know if that's, he's going to let you, he's going to, going to be replaced him after he dies, which would be pretty crazy mm -hmm. because he wanted to be a ranger so he could go out and use his talent with the sword, right? But maybe that is wasted on him. Maybe he is more than just a sword. He kicked everyone's ass up and down. What if the entire Night's Watch was wielded with such 
precision that he wields with his actual sword. And he would be a good leader because he's good in combat. He's a good person to follow because you know he actually can back up what he says with his actual prowess in combat, which is a good aspect for such a position as this, where you are out there by yourself. All right. I'm, we could probably talk about more. Just let us know in the comments. We missed anything. Catch us on Saturdays in the evening, the evening, Eastern Standard Time, five to, I'll be up till the AM hours, Eastern Standard. Yes, we thank you all for watching. Yes, thank you for watching. Immersive reactions. Bye. Until next time. Thank you. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps us get recognition on our videos and we'll react to more in the future. Thank you.